how's it going? All right, I was watching a very interesting video from MGTOW 101. What was more interesting, what I felt needed commenting on a little bit more, was a YouTube user by the name of Roman Brown. And this is a comment that first caught my eye. I think it's a response to MGTOW 101. I bet you are a very weak and insecure man. Mad that the girls you liked and had a lessons wouldn't have sex with you. Did somebody break your poor little heart, cry baby? Get over it. Women are people with vaginas, and they are not the enemy. They should be judged one at a time, not as a sex. Remember one carried your sorry ass around in her belly for nine months, you ungrateful whiny twat. Well... Roman, if you watch the video, he was judging that woman for her actions. It was an individual woman who made the choices she made, which led her into that life of single motherhood. How is this blaming all women? Ah. He's clearly pointing out an example of that. Wait, are you telling me that men are responsible for what happens in their life, but women are not? Does that not seem a little bit sexist to you? Come on, man. Come on. I would say that's pretty damn sexist. But alas, let's go on to your next comment. You didn't answer the question that I'd asked you, which was, would you apply this same comment, or same question, or same statement to a man hating feminist? To one of the women that were so upset that they couldn't get a good man in life. Would you? Well, I'm going to I'm going to go out and say since you didn't even answer my question that the answer would probably be no. So, moving on to the next comment. You wankers are a waste of time. You want to cry? I'm sure, or cry? Well, I'm sure it's all a woman's fault. Well, you didn't pay attention to the video too much now, did you? Because the person I saw crying in the video... Well, not necessarily crying, but, you know, whining that she didn't have enough time to go date other people, was a woman. And if you looked and listened closely, well, you didn't even have to look and listen closely, you could just look and listen. And you would find out that the woman made the choices herself that led her into the life that she was in. She went after the bad boys who would screw her and leave her. Th those were her choices. Those were her very words. She's a single mother. She didn't have time for any other guy. She didn't have time for dating. Right? Take that into consideration. All right? take all of that into consideration. So, when you're claiming that Big Cow 101 is a very weak and insecure man, well, would you marry a woman who, or date a woman who had kids? You, you know, you're going to have to, if you get serious with a woman, take care of kids that aren't yours. Be loyal to a woman who you're pretty well sure is not attracted to you. Remember, she was attracted to the guys, to the bad boys. And would you date a woman who didn't have time for you? Ask yourself those three questions, dude. What's the benefit for you? What is the benefit? Wow. I'm going to tie myself down to a woman with kids by another man. I'm going to...
take financial responsibility for that. I'm going to pay more to have a woman who's probably not even attracted to me. To have a woman that <laughs> doesn't even have time for me. Yippee! Yippee! You know, paying more for less. <laughs> oh, my man. <laughs> oh, good God, dude. Do you, did you even think about what you said before you said it? And then you go on with a comment. MGTOW is for pussies and you know it. Alright. So, I'm learning about MGTOW still. Uh, you know, uh, I understand that there are varying degrees of MGTOW. Alright. That's not lost on me. The commonality here is that MGTOW are guys that have decided, hey, I'm not putting the ring on my finger. So to speak. And MGTOWs, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Alright, so, given that, these are guys that have said they're not interested in marriage. But let's take your narrative here for a second. Let's take your narrative that these guys are just a bunch of pussies that can't get fucking laid, and they're just bitter at women. And now all of a sudden they're saying, wham, well, you know what, we're going off, uh, we're doing our own thing, and we're not even trying to get women. What's the fucking loss, dude? What's the fucking loss? I mean, these are bitter old, these are bitter old pussies, or bitter young pussies, I guess, depending on how you look at it, that aren't sleeping with women anyway, so you know what they're saying, fuck it. You know, we're just going to do what we want to do, fuck women, yada yada. What was the loss? Hmm? What, are, are you mad that they didn't white knight your fat-ass single mother-sister-in-law or something? <laughs> are you mad that they didn't pay for your sister-in-law's kids? Even though they had no responsibility in making your sister-in-law's kids? You're mad that they're not going to step up to the play for that? <laughs> I mean, dude... It seems to me like you have no fucking point. <laughs>